Hi, I'm Elizabeth Miazga. I'm a clinical fellow in minimally invasive gynecologic surgery here at St. Michael's Hospital. My name is Dr. Carmen McCaffrey, and I'm an obstetrician and minimally invasive gynecologic surgeon specializing in endometriosis here at St. Michael's Hospital. So our relationship goes way back. When I was a medical student at U of T, I got assigned to a random resident mentor who happened to be Carmen McCaffrey. <laughs> this was 10 years ago. And she's kind of mentored me along my whole sort of journey through medicine. So endometriosis is a condition where the lining of the uterus or cells similar to that called the endometrium implants somewhere outside the uterus. We hear about girls or women who can't participate in school and who miss their classes or drop out of high school or don't go to university because their period pain is so bad that they have five days a month where they're on the couch and can't move. So endometriosis can cause infertility. It can be one of the most um, devastating consequences in this disease. Our goal is to really provide them care so we can improve their quality of life and help these women and you know, people assigned female birth achieve what they want to achieve. Their wait time to see an endometriosis specialist can sometimes be upwards of one to two years. And again, they wait for surgery for one to two more years. Unfortunately, a lot of these first line treatments that we recommend for all patients are expensive or they're just inaccessible for patients that don't live in a major center. That's where the idea of the My Endo app came. It's a one-stop shop for people with endometriosis to get all of the care that they need for their condition without cost to them. So I think my friends and colleagues would describe me as a ball of energy. If you're stuck in the OR with us, we'll, you know, get more excited and talk faster and faster and faster <laughs> until the residents will be looking at us like, what is going on? My kids would probably say, you know, I'm pretty fun, kind of silly, you know, full of energy. Can shoot a pretty good free throw um, while also running around in the backyard with a soccer ball. So if I weren't a doctor, I would probably be a lawyer. So I come from a family, like both my parents, my older brother, all lawyers. I think lawyers are great advocates. In medicine, I've really tried to find ways I can bring that advocacy into my practice here. Together, we're really passionate about advocating for this disease to better advocate for our patients.